So this is my female today. Um, I forgot to mention when I was talking about swim bladder that swim bladder doesn't really kill your fish. It's secondary things um, to swim bladder that kill your fish. If they're stuck on the bottom because their swim bladder is ruptured, uh, swimming along on the bottom can open sores up. If they're stuck up at the top and they're exposed to air, they can open sores. So she must have um, damaged it and then the one side I'm guessing deflated and then the other side deflated. And that's why yesterday she was stuck up at the top on the one side. She kept floating to the one side and now she's stuck on the bottom. That being said, you know, she'll still eat if I hand feed her. Um, she's not by any means um, going to die anytime soon from this, but it does come down to quality of life because she does panic and start swimming around and bashing into the sides when she's trying to swim because she doesn't understand that she can't swim right. Um, so right now I have her by herself in a 40 gallon tub. And as you can see, you know, she's still thin up, you know, essentially healthy other than her swim bladder is now broken. And I'm not sure if once it's completely ruptured, if she can heal from it and reinflate it eventually. Or, you know, the like I said, the one fish that I had, he died... The other summer I had I lost a couple fish because my nitrates got completely out of control working. I was putting in 75, 80 hours a week um, and I had all the babies and algae last year and what was it? Yeah, it was, no it was this summer. So yeah, he, I lost like um, two, three, four fish. Uh, because I, well, I lost one fish, and then that just, I didn't realize it, and that drove my water parameters absolutely through the roof, and I lost three more fish. My two bottom sitters, I don't know if, for some reason, if it was because of, they were already, um, compromised in some way, and then my big Kieran male. So... I haven't made up my mind if I'm just going to keep her in a separate tank and see how she does or if eventually I'm going to have to euthanize her. But she's, and like I said, that's, that's, just one of the risks of this hobby is. So she might, she might stay in here for now while I think about what I'm going to do, but she's still, she's still with me today. So, Her one eye is bigger than the other one because she damaged it. That's another thing I was talking about, the difference of Popeye. Her one eye is actually dislocated. I should have, maybe could have removed it years ago. She got stuck behind, I'm guessing, a filter intake or something when I used to have hang on the backs and damaged it. So the pupil isn't even, I mean, in her eye. It's just an empty fluid-filled sac, basically. And uh, another risk of telescopes is just that they can damage their eyes, but she's the first fish I've had with this gorgeous sprinkle of gold. I mean, she literally looks like she's sparkling, and it just, it's going to break my heart twice this week if I lose this one, too.